As victims of the late Friday night fire at the Agui Rossi section of the popular Ladipo market count their losses, some are alleging arson. Plus TV Africa spoke to some of them and a business developer who underscored the need for the government and other well-meaning Nigerians to help shore up the losses. Desperately, some of the victims were seen scrambling through the rubbles in a last-minute effort to salvage whatever they could find. This particular building gave way to the impact of the inferno as flames of smoke hovered in the air. As we dug through, there were claims of criminal intent as allegations of arson resounded. However, chairman of the Agui Run Team Market dismissed these claims, saying investigations are ongoing by the authorities. We are investigation is ongoing. We can never say for sure or ascertain the true picture of what happened and the cause of this fire. We are still investigating. But I know from our statistics, the building that uh, brought by fire is one of the biggest buildings that have about 150 shops. And the other building that was also involved is containing about 50 to 60 shops. So we are talking about uh, the range of two, over 200 shops. Yes, and uh, I'll tell you, billions of Naira was lost. It was a great disaster. Uh, uh, many shops are affected. Like, it's, not, it's, 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 it's almost countable. I mean, sure, it just can't, it's, it's almost more than 200 shops affected. Due is it's collapsing. Everywhere is collapsing, so there is no, it's, it's, it's almost countable. You cannot count, it's uncountable. This, this is not just born intentionally, because we don't have electricity here. There's no light here. There's no light here. There was no light here. There was no light here. There was no light here. We caught up with the business developer, Professor Chris Imomolen, who harped on the need to set up effective fire service around markets and other public places. He also promised to give succor to the victims. Yeah, fire fire incident is one incident that um, that one cannot um, foresee. But and again, because of the way the country has been built, it has to do with a lot of foundational issues. If we say, oh, they should have been fire conscious, they should have been this, that is not the solution. You know, many persons have, but the system we run in Nigeria is one that everybody is on his own, and they need to. But again, I think the traders by themselves need to be cautioned, and the security who are here need to be cautioned. There's need again, maybe for detective system to have averted because if that has happened the losses would have been wouldn't have gotten to this level over 200 shops were affected in the inferno hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates